It is absolutely phenomenal tonight. I'm here on this beach, surrounded by a quarter of a million horseshoe crabs. This is Slaughter Beach, and it's the best beach in the world to see these crabs crawling from the ocean to spawn. And they do it on the rising tide when the moon is at its very highest. These are the nearest thing to the trilobites which lived 250 million years ago. Right here you can see that we have a large female and connected to her back is this smaller male clinging on with a pair of hooks that look just like boxing gloves. They're desperately trying to spawn with these females and they got together way out in the back of the bay in what is a dating agency. And the female drags the male onto shore with him holding on as hard as he can. All these other males which are floating around, they're the satellite males and they're trying to grab hold of any female that's going free. Sometimes you can see a conga line of three or four males all connected to one another and the female will just drag as many males as she can along the beach until she gets to the spot where she wants to lay her eggs in this rich sand. So if we have a look at here, we can see that these have just been flipped over by the waves. We can have a look and we can see just how they're connected. There's this boxing glove right at the very front there of the male and he clings on making sure that the female doesn't get away until they've spawned. They've got buck gulls which they use to breathe in the water. These provide a very rich surface area to get the oxygen from the water and also from the moist air. But I'll leave these guys to get back to the water to get on with their spawning. This spectacle of the natural world only happens once every year. Most of these will return back to the Atlantic Ocean and we won't see them again until this time next year. All that will be left along this beautiful beach is the scattered remains of a few males and females that have been left behind.